Okay, let's look at a really great plugin today. Now, you all know that I love analog photography, right? I always tell people as a joke that in my work, I'm a 99% digital photographer, but in my heart, I'm a 100% analog photographer. I just love the way that film looks. Now, don't worry, this is not a shot of mine. This is actually shot in 1966 by my grandfather. And they shot a gazillion images. Now, the problem with film is it looks great, but there's a lot of junk often in the older films, like over here in the sky. And, well, it doesn't look nice, right? Some people will say it gives it charm, but for me, it just doesn't look right. I, I want those parts out. So you can do this in your scanner. The problem is, however, that in your scanner, it's often the whole area that's affected. And maybe I want it out in the sky, but I don't want it out, uh, for example, in somebody's face because, well, it's better with the junk in than with the junk out because it really softens the face. So how do you do that? Well, you can, of course, go into Photoshop like you do here and start cloning and healing all this stuff. But wouldn't it be cool if there would be a plugin that does the same thing as the scanner, but does it in Photoshop. Well, today I'm gonna introduce that plugin for you guys. And you know what? The creators of Silverfast software actually created this plugin, and Silverfast is without a doubt my favorite software to scan images. So let's dive in and let's see what this filter can do. So we go into filter and we go into our laser soft imaging SRDX what's in an A. So it starts up and this is still a beta version so your final version will look slightly different probably. Okay let's start fit win or let's just let it do its magic by itself. As you can see it's pretty good. It already selected a lot of the junk. Now let's say it forgot this one and I want to add that. That's very simple. You have a brush. I can simply make the brush a little bit bigger. There we go. And now that's also taken care of. Yeah, that looks really nice. Now let's say I want to change the detection intensify just a little bit better. Oh my, there's a lot of stuff also in the, oh no, I don't want that. In the sky it's okay, but I don't want it over there. So how do you take that out? Now This is where it's really cool to have it inside a plugin because now I can actually take an eraser tool, make the brush a little bit bigger, and I can actually say, okay, I don't want it in here. So take it out. I don't want it here, take it out. But in all honesty, and most photographers are, I'm a little bit lazy. I go like, yeah, you know what? This takes a lot of work, I, I don't want that. I want it quicker. Well, that's also available because we have masks. Now, creating the mask is incredibly simple with this software. I'm not gonna show you it in detail for the very simple reason there's a lot of interesting stuff on YouTube and I don't wanna take too much of your time, but I still wanna show you how it works because this is pretty awesome. So we're gonna do a new path mask. I'm just gonna do it over here. So there we go. Okay, now let the computer do its magic and you can see that now only the part that I selected is actually affected by the filter. So I could select the sky and then everything else isn't affected by the filter. So that's a really cool solution, but you can do more. You can of course add more masks. And there we go. Now there's another mask. Now let's say you're a little bit sloppy over here and you say, ah, you know what? The bottom, the top part, that should be okay. Now you can actually do minus the mask. And you can actually say, okay, let's create a finer mask. There we go. <laughs> That's interesting, right? Now let's say you go like, oh no, I did it the wrong way. I actually want these parts protected, but not the rest. And you simply inverse the mask. It takes a little bit of time, of course, to render. And there we go. So this is an incredibly handy tool. Now let's just delete all the masks and let's just do it manually and let's see how much the software actually takes away of detail okay so looks pretty nice and press okay and let the software do its magic and there we go as you can see this cleans up a lot of your shots now over here you still have to do some manual work or tweak a little bit more with the plugin you can also see that some parts aren't that good 
but this is something that one they're working on of course for the final release but also something that you can do in the filter yourself creating a slightly bigger brush giving a little bit more aggression in the filter but overall if you compare to what it was this is pretty pretty impressive so in this part I can always take out myself very very fast so I just take my clone tool uh, sorry my healing brush and there we go but overall this saves me so much time so thank you so very much laser software incredible filter and I can highly recommend it to everybody that still has a big analog heart and loves analog photography because this brings the fun back into scanning a gazillion images because let's be honest that's the coolest thing ever seeing the stuff that your grandparents shot you see yourself as a five-year-old or four-year-old images you never saw before that's the magic of old photography and now you can even have clean old photography very very fast so check out the filter as soon as it's released I absolutely love it. I think it rocks.